It's beginning to look a lot like cookie season. How old is that? A few weeks. Ew. Temperature's the real problem. Ew. We're prepared for winter in almost every way. Whoa, Trent! Oh my God. But there's one crucial piece missing. The heat would come straight out, probably light it on fire. We are full steam ahead and hoping for the best. It's definitely gonna snow. <laughs> I guess the good news is it's not snow. Not yet. We basically have one, maybe one and a half days until this big snowstorm hits. And we're trying to get the rest of our excavation completed so that everything has nice grade and slope. I'm trying to take the rest of that gravel in the driveway, spread it over all the places that we walk so that if the snow does melt and it's muddy, we actually have a nice gravel place to walk that's not super thick with mud. We're trying to get all the garbage into the dump trailer so that it doesn't end up being some treasure that we're gonna find with the snow blower in the middle of the winter. We've gotta do ice and water shield on both roofs and then just a lot of excavation and cleanup. So over the next day, day and a half, is just gonna be a little bit of a scramble trying to get ready for winter. We're very familiar with this scramble before the storm situation. Every fall, it seems like we're in the exact same spot. However, this year feels a little bit different. The exterior framing is 100% done, and we have never had that happen um, with more than like a day. Actually, last year, we never even finished framing before the snow hit. Um, the year before that, we were barely in time finishing framing as it started snowing. So it kind of feels like we're in a better spot than we normally are, um, and we're gonna use every ounce of dry weather to our advantage. It is slowly starting to warm up and dry out. There was a little bit of precipitation, mostly just like frost and condensation overnight, um, but that has built up on all the roofs and the stairs. The surfaces are all a little bit wet. It should get a little bit warmer throughout the day, I'm hoping, because we'd love to continue to finish some excavation and regrading that Trent is working on right now, as well as putting on the ice and water shield on the roofs. Um, and the roofs need to be dry in order to put that on. But the weather is looking great, the sun is coming out, and Trent is getting so much done so quickly. The sewer line is fully connected as of yesterday. Uh, the foundation drain is fully connected and set up at the right slope as of about 10 minutes ago. Things are looking really good. What are you doing outside? Hi, Trent. You okay? seriously pays to have the skid steer and the excavator on days like today when Trent is using both back and forth, um, trying to get the whole property set up for winter. How old is that? A few weeks. Ew. <laughs> Temperature is the real problem. Ew. So I'm trying to create a negative grade away from the garage where that roof is going to slough because my plan this year, I want to be able to get the snow blower on this side of the garage and that side of the garage so that when the mounds start to pile up, I can blow them away so that snow doesn't pile up and then eventually end up on the roof. So I'm grading. <laughs> now I'm going to be removing dirt. A plus for me. Thank you.
Yeah, it's nice and warm now. Brandon and Grayson have basically been taping up some of the seams that we've needed taped and then getting the ice and water shield on the main roofs now. Cool. I think we're actually going to be ready for this snowstorm. <laughs> Words I never thought I'd hear. It's the fire in the rain It's the smile within the pain It's the logic but insane You cannot know from where it came It's the way you cross the floor Before you head on out the door the figure on the wall Good morning guys. We are just waking up to a beautifully regraded and regraveled walking zone out in front of the house and it feels amazing. <sighs> Especially with all the recent rain, the gravel is going to make a huge difference. Yesterday we stopped at Home Depot and picked up the cabinets that were uh, shipped to Home Depot for the man cave. So now we have basically all the pieces that need to be installed in there. After we get the cabinets put in, we literally need to do a countertop and then trim. I think that's it. Cool. And that room's done. Wow. Right now that room is window storage. So <laughs> we won't be doing any trim until we get all the windows out of there and installed on the addition which will hopefully be pretty soon. But today we're actually gonna get started by putting an extension on our chimney pipe because tonight it's supposed to snow like four inches. And so we wanna be able to use our fireplace. And right now the chimney is way too close to the eve of the addition, so we can't use the chimney. So let's see if Grayson and I can get up there and uh, extend the chimney. <laughs> That's convenient. <laughs> Yesterday, Grayson and Brandon spent a long time ice and water shielding the entire, both roofs of the addition. So they are completely watertight and ready for winter. We are not gonna be able to get the metal roofing on before it snows, but this is gonna make a huge difference. What the heck are you doing? Oh. <laughs> I don't know if you can really tell from this perspective, but Trent is standing right in between the eave of the new addition roof and the chimney. How much space is that? Two feet? Right from here to there? Yeah. Yeah, probably like 30 inches. So basically if we lit a fire right now, the heat would come straight out into the roof addition and uh, pr probably light it on fire. The issue is that if you've got a fire going and it's really hot and hot air and smoke is coming out of the chimney, and then the wind starts to blow this direction, that really hot, basically fire, is just blowing straight into the house. And if it does that for an hour, this will just catch on fire. And then your house will burn down. And that's why we have things like code. <laughs> yeah. The chimney pipe, anything within 10 feet of it, it has to be two, two feet or 20 inches taller than that. Huh. So since this is the same height, we have a 36 inch extension piece. Cool. So that should make this three feet taller. We'll be within code. Hopefully not have any fires, except for the one inside the fireplace. All right, well, unfortunately, Our chimney pipe or our stove pipe is a six inch. And the one that they sent us is eight inch, even though I'm almost positive I ordered a six inch. So I might have to see if I can go somewhere today to a chimney store and buy a three inch extension because we need that tonight. <laughs> so unfortunately, we're gonna have to move on to something else.
we are really grateful that uh, the forecast keeps changing, I guess, and we keep preparing for the worst, and the worst continues to not happen. Um, so in the past, we have taken the forecast not very seriously and then been really overwhelmed when it snows. And this year, it kind of feels like we keep preparing and then nothing happens, which honestly is better because then we're more prepared. So regardless of whether or not it actually snows tonight, we are in really good shape for winter. It's the first year ever that we are in this position. And we're gonna spend a couple hours now getting everything else as ready as possible, putting in snow stakes for plowing and finishing regrading and excavating and sloping the rest of the land behind the garage uh, to get it ready for snow melt, which seems like a long time away, but things like that tend to sneak up on us. because you've just been like doing it the whole time but it looks so different yeah yeah good how do you Hopefully feel frustrated really i oh. just hate moving rocks the machine it's really difficult hello hi ali hey it's patty it's hi patty so it's a special order oh. it's 45 days and it's 368.33 wow okay for the chimney pipe all right, we will look for it somewhere else then. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, I have spent all morning calling everywhere that I can find in the area to see if we can get a piece of chimney pipe in stock today, so because it's gonna snow, potentially, we think, tonight. I can order it from Home Depot and have it be here by Tuesday, like five days from now, um, but I'm having a lot of trouble sourcing it to be picked up today. I don't know what else to do. Yeah, I mean, just order from Home Depot. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna get that reordered from Home Depot because they have exactly what we need at a much lower price and it'll be here in just a few days instead of 45 days like that other company was telling me. In the meantime, maybe the storm will blow over because it's been like kind of going back and forth over the last few days. So we are not gonna be able to use our fireplace for a while. So hopefully the storm is not that bad. I mean, it's definitely gonna snow. <laughs> I'm just trying really hard to envision all the snow that's gonna come off of that roof and where it's gonna pile up and then where it's gonna drain or how I'm gonna get up here to try and snow blow it or remove it. And so I'm just trying to do everything I can to make this have a nice slope away from the house where it's not gonna be damaging that window or anything like that. And then trying to create a nice smooth approach here for hopefully the skid steer. Cool.
Now, if you remember last year, I spent a long time raking all of the gravel and smoothing everything out. And about a day after I spent hours doing all of that, Trent drove across it with tracks um, from our tractor. So I've waited to do this part because I just know we will continue to be driving on it um, for a little bit. So everything else has been raked and smoothed out up by the house where we walk. Skid steer is up there, so we'll see if the skid steer moves that gravel around and I have to re-rake again. But for the most part, it looks really good. A lot of the snow stakes are in place over here. Um, there's a little bit more that has to happen over here, moving some of this gravel around and then uh, probably staking that line as well. It is really hard to know how much we should bank on there being a big snowstorm and then it just like not melting. Like, should we take all the stuff off the deck? Is that too premature? Like how ready do we actually need to be right now? We're just trying to gauge. I feel like we're, I feel like we don't need to do that yet. Hopefully I don't eat my words later. <laughs> I've been working out. Oh yeah, the house looks great too. <laughs> you got your snow stakes up? Uh, no. No. <laughs> Our neighbor Cody, I know a lot of you guys remember Cody uh, from a couple of different episodes. He's awesome. He brought scaffolding over to help us do all of our drywall. I've helped him with his tractor a few times in the winter. And uh, we were just talking to him about how our chimney is too short and we ordered an extension piece and it's the wrong size. And he said, oh, I've got a bunch of extras in my garage. I can go see, you know, what size they are. That's cool. Yeah. I would like that. <laughs> the problem is, yeah, we have a furnace and we can just crank it up. But for the next week, the low is like 15 degrees. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be really cold up here. And it's just really nice to be able to like build a fire and sit by it. Mm -hmm. I've still got a connect this thing to the skid steer and get it all. They gave me like a dongle and all the stuff I have to hook up. Mm. I've never done it before. I don't <laughs> even know if we have the right parts. Oh, good to test be, that out. It would be really bad for it to be like a giant snowstorm and then be like, oh, they gave me the wrong part. So <laughs> let's start working on that. I'm going to go locate the Starlink okay. up on top of the addition. Cool. And hopefully that'll just go real quick and we don't have any issues. Okay. And then we start working on this. All right. naked without anything attached on the front. Yeah, it does look fun. <laughs> it looks so like weird. Balanced. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're basically ready to hook the snowblower up and start testing it and, you know, making sure everything works and that I know how to run it and that I'm not missing any parts. But first, before we do that, the winds are picking up, the storm is blowing in, and so I think we're going to try and get all or most of our stuff off of the deck, okay. organized underneath the deck. I don't mess with the snowblower. All right, we're just deciding to bite the bullet. It's probably a little bit premature, but we might as well get it done at some point, and that some point might as well be today. So. The under the deck space has been all cleaned and reorganized, and these guys are starting to take everything down from, from the top deck to the bottom deck. Ready for winter.
has begun. Getting ready for winter, baby. Right, so that looks like. I'm just guessing, huh? Well, yeah, it probably only goes on one way. Okay. <clears throat> I have no idea what buttons do what, so stay away from this and stay away from everything. Okay. While I figure this out and get Frank out of there. Okay. <laughs> been a minute since we've done mail time so before we let you guys go today we're going to end with a little segment of mail time we've got a few packages piled up here so <laughs> let's get started oh my gosh that's cute it's like a banana chicken stuffed animal <laughs> do you like that whoa <laughs> oh i remember this guy telling me about this from arthur this is a roto zip that he bought me so that when we're doing drywall, <laughs> I can actually cut things out nice and easily. Thank you. Thank you, Arthur. Oh my goodness. That's gonna be a hit for sure. Look at that. <laughs> Thank you, Jason. Hand warmers, excavator, you know the way to our hearts. <laughs> I have a European store about 30 yards from my house so I thought I would send some selections of cookies they have. Oh my goodness. Whoa. Tim Tam. Those are good. Thank you so much. <laughs> it's Care Bears, dude. This is Tender Heart Bear. Tender Heart Bear. Aww. Just like me. <laughs> I think you could use at least one of these by the door to the house. It's just a start. Would be great to have one by each entrance to the house and garage, etc. I hope you find it useful, Michelle. Oh, Thank you, Michelle. It's we, a boot brush. We you do like, need this. You mount it on the deck or on the floor or like somewhere, and then every time you come in with like muddy boots, you like rub them on the brush and it cleans your boots off. That's exactly what we need. Thanks, Michelle. Gypsy goes exploring. Oh. Leo, we enjoy seeing you grow up on YouTube. We hope you enjoy reading this book about our dog, Gypsy. May our may all your dreams come true. Becky and Brent. Wow, that's, that's so cool. cool. And she wrote the book. Happy home remodel from Frankie. Oh, I think you attach this. You like stick that on your pencil and you put this in there and then when you're done with your... Ah! Mmm. <laughs> That's got some recoil on it, baby. <laughs> Ouch. Anyway, I uh -oh. think that's what that's for. You put that on your pencil. Thank you, Frankie. These are gonna be awesome. Yeah, you we guys. lose so many pencils. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Enjoy your gift. Happy birthday to Leo and also Allie and my son on the 5th and me on the 13th. Thank you, Lisa. This is awesome. This is like a, it's like a musical thing. That's cool. It's got like cool. the whole alphabet and like a bunch of keys. Since you're building the addition, we thought you could use some wall art. We own a laser engraving business, and one of our specialties is taking vintage maps, engraving them on whiteboard, oh. and then putting them in a frame made by us. Oh, I'm so excited. Map? <laughs> Get out of oh here. Oh my gosh, this is cool. That's incredible. Oh my gosh. That is beautiful. Do you see it? That's amazing. The Mankin family? Thank you. You guys are amazing. This is extremely thoughtful and really, really cool. I think it is safe to say that we made it. Yes. We are ready for winter. We are ready for this big storm that's coming. I even got my little Patagonia fleece on because I am ready to start putting on sweaters and starting to get ready for the cold because guess what? 
it's going to be in the teens, like probably over the next week. So we cannot light a fire until we put the extension on our chimney, but everything else is ready. And hopefully uh, that's an easy thing to add on once we have the correct part. <laughs> yeah. And hopefully it comes soon because yeah. to be honest, I don't want to be using all the propane, even though we've got two tanks now, we could run the furnace all winter. I would really prefer to be building fires. Yeah. So yeah. hopefully that extension comes soon, but we're ready. I think, uh, you know, like again, Again, I'd just like to thank all of our friends that came up and helped us to make sure that we got to this point because without all of their help, yeah. every single person, we wouldn't have made it because we just yeah. barely slid in right under yeah. the wire. Brandon so. and Grayson too have been coming in extra days and working so hard. We really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Yeah. So if you guys want to give everybody some love in the comments, yeah. we would really appreciate that. And if you guys enjoyed coming along on this adventure, make sure you show us by giving us a big thumbs up on today's video. Consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. Thank you guys. We love you. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Adios. Adios.